The Psyche of Success is about defining who you are and who you want to be. Chapter 5, Sickness. This is an interesting chapter. As you start thinking about the things that we deal with, we've created a society that seems to want to be sick. I've talked to a number of physicians who have said, I'm really kind of blown away by the number of people that go, hey, I saw this drug on TV. Uh, do you think it would help me? They don't really know what the drug does. They just want to take the drug. So what the chapter talks about is how we look at the way that sickness is impacting us. One of the really interesting things that I've seen is people who go through medical school and have to go through that whole diagnostic manual and understand all the different illnesses, almost every single one of them will contract some illness that they didn't know existed. If you look at the advice that my grandfather gave me, he said, son, don't go to the doctor. You'll die if you do that. Now, I'm not saying don't go to the doctor, but what I am saying is that when you sit around and you think about what could be wrong, you tend to manifest something that is wrong with you. So you've got to be able to back away from the sickness and realize I need to make sure that my spirit is good and I need to make sure that I'm in sync. When we are unhappy with our life, we tend to push ourselves in the wrong direction, losing the balance that would actually create wholeness and wellness for us. For example, when I was first in business, I was super unhappy and I believed you were supposed to work yourself to death in order to be successful. So what did I do? I pulled an all-nighter every week, I gave up sleep, I ate wrong, I drank tons of Mountain Dew, and I got a sinus infection about every four to five weeks. A couple of years in, <clears throat> I was going from one doctor to the next, just trying to find someone who would give me a shot so I could go right back to work and not have to pay attention to my body. Our bodies give us a signal when it's time to slow down and get back in balance. The sickness itself, you can absorb from other people if you allow it in your mind. So every day, I want you to just think, I am whole, I am well, I am good. And if you'll do that, you'll be able to overcome that demon of sickness that puts in your mind, you know what, you really are getting weak. An uh, experiment that I heard about that my father actually talked about was where you go to a person and you say, man, you don't, you don't look very good today. And then another person comes up randomly and says, you feeling okay? You, you look pretty pale. By the time four people go tell that person differently that they don't look that good for the day, the person will start to go, I think I really am sick, even though they look just fine. The power of suggestion is incredible, both for bad and for good. So use your powers for good and not for evil. I'm Jody Holland with the Psyche of Success video blog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share it with your friends. Find me on Facebook, look for Jody Holland Training and Speaking. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well, Jody N. Holland. Can't wait to see you on next week's episode.